हेलो फ्रेंड्स होप यू आर वेल टुडे वी गोइंग टू मेक मटन सुक्का और ड्राई रोस्ट मटन फ्रॉम द साउथ ऑफ इंडिया आई एम गोइंग टू गेट इनटू दैट रेसिपी मेक इट रियली सिंपल फॉर यू व्हेन वी डू रेसिपीज टुगेदर आई डू वांट यू टू इन्वेस्ट इन अ बिट ऑफ किचन किट एज सच व्हिच विल मेक आवर लाइफ इन द किचन वेरी इजी कुकिंग वेरी सिंपल we use gadgets we use shortcuts we use tricks of the trade to make things very simple for you and uh, you know cook healthy indian curry without much hassle really so today we're going to cook lamb or mutton sukka i'll try and make it really really simple for you and we'll roast things without any oil so let's get going So for mutton sukha I got mutton hair right and then roughly chopped onions red and white chopped garlic chopped ginger I spend most of my time in for this recipe in chopping but you can always replace the ginger and garlic with the paste you have or you know you have the frozen one in your freezer apart from this I have put in this Sri Lankan hot A roasted curry powder from Sri Lanka this is actually very spicy so you put this judiciously as hot as you want and then i've also put in a bit of salt a bit of turmeric and the coconut milk powder and now i'm going to pressure cook it with a little bit of water not too much because this is a dry dish uh, and the onions will leave their water as well So we'll cook this for about 30 minutes. As I've said before, if you follow my recipes, please do invest in uh, a lot of uh, kitchen kits. This is one of them. This is multi cooker. So I'm going to use this pressure cooker for 30 minutes to cook the mutton. So as you can see this uh, is now 30 minutes and it's bubbling away in the multi cooker. Uh, I'm going to now because I need to get rid of all this moisture. I'm going to transfer this for flash cooking in a pan. Here we go. Transfer this into the pan. And then we continue cooking in the pan. Okay at this stage I'm going to let it reduce for a while and then add shallots I peeled with little onions and they go If you don't find these small round ones you could use the long shallots as well So we cook it for a while now we want a dark color out of it so I'm going to add one surprise ingredient now and then one surprise ingredient comes a bit later this is the dark soy sauce we have to pretend we have been you know roasting the meat in lots of oil in a pan which we haven't obviously done we haven't used oil at all at this in this recipe so far so in goes a bit of soy sauce this will give it a nice color and a bit of tangy taste as well there you go and we continue to cook it i would also add some of my dry curry leaves obviously if you can lay your hand on fresh curry leaves nothing like it so there goes my dry curry leaf but you can use the fresh ones if you get them i did add some in when i was cooking in the pressure cooker as well let it continue to cook at high heat in the pan as we want to get rid of most of the moisture 
So this might take about 10 more minutes. So this has been bubbling for about 10 minutes. It's quite dry and uh, you know quite dark in color now. So it's going very well and uh, we are almost at a stage when we are going to add another surprise ingredient into it which is Weetabix. This will make it further dry. I think one is enough. There you go, look at that. And also this grated fresh coconut. I am using the frozen one, a shredded coconut frozen. It comes from the freezer and then cook it further. We'll cook for another five minutes. The mutton is already well cooked. Uh, by the way, I had used mutton on the bone, but you could use boneless as well if you like that. There you go, look at that. Who could say this is oil free, completely oil free and all this color we've got through other means and we've cooked the meat as lean as possible and it would challenge any of the traditionally cooked dry mutton or roast mutton. So we finish it off uh, with our own uh, aromatic garam masala on top, a little bit of it, not too much and uh, freshly crushed whole peppercorns. So our lamb or mutton sukha is now ready. So I hope you enjoyed cooking the mutton sukha with me today. Next time we will travel north, I want to do lamb or mutton nihari, which is mainly North India and Pakistan. Uh, but again, I'm going to get into that recipe, tear it apart, make it really simple, cut out steps and obviously make it as healthy as we can. Okay, so see you next time for Mutton Nihari.